What's going on guys? Welcome back to another quarantine Saturday. Is that what we'll call it? Quarantine Saturday? Actually it's quarantine all day, every day. But today, we gotta get this glue. Oh hey, how you doing there, partner? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm talking to you. Hi, can you hear me? No, what the? Yeah, huh? So today guys, we're getting all the glue off. So far, uh, so good. What I use, yeah, it's pretty much off. What I use is I just put a little uh, carb cleaner on a rag. And uh, you gotta be careful when you do that because carb cleaner is strong. Also though, on certain windows, it'll actually etch the window and damage it. But I know on this window it won't because I've done it already in a little uh, test spot, so it doesn't. Uh, but believe it or not, look at these water spots. This is all from the dealer. And what I'm gonna be using for that because the carb cleaner will not work is I'm going to be using, no, it's not Lucas, it's just in Lucas bottle. It's white distilled vinegar. That works the best for water spots. Now check this out guys. I don't know if you can see this or not. Here, we'll look, it's pretty bad right here. So you see from the dealer, they use like their spot free water. It clearly does not work. Their spot free sucks. So what I like to do, especially on the black, is I get some of this Adam's finishing polish and I stick a little bit right here on the rag like this just like you don't need a lot I'll just do that little corner for you guys okay right here so I'll make a line that goes like this okay now watch this this stuff works damn good I don't know how why but scrub it like this do a little wax on wax off make a nice line for you guys right here now watch, look at this, it literally, it's insane. And I mean, I don't know what, it, and it stays like this too. Gets rid of like this dull, see how it's like faded right here? That's more like it. So, we're, uh, well we got a lot, of, a lot of work ahead of us to do. So I'm gonna do, uh, now on silver and stuff like this guys, you don't really notice it as much. Uh, because usually they, they, this other color has some shine to it. You can do it, it's not gonna hurt. But on the black, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you can see right there. So I'm gonna do the whole thing now and I'll show you. Look at that, guys. Look at the difference between this and that. We just did the whole thing. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you could tell uh, big time when you're staring at it. I mean, it just, and then, you can also, uh, they got some stuff I'm looking at. I don't want to tell you what it is yet because I'm not sure it's going to work. I'll try it first and get it to supposedly get this like shiny. So we'll see. We're trying pretty much what your goal is trying to do is figure out a way to protect these, you know, graphics as much as you can. Uh, me, I'm going to just build a garage over there. So that's the easiest. But for, for you guys that, you know, are not going to build a garage and your toy hauler is going to sit outside you know all night like this or all day and night getting rained on you know the summer is going to kill these things that's why um by summer this thing will actually a couple months hopefully parts are supposed to be like a he said about a month and then uh oh this will be ready by summer and it will be you know out of the sun and elements and getting destroyed and beat up because so you guys know these graphics do not last at all and for the water i told you i use vinegar also i use this stuff duckies i tried it um you know it's okay it's nothing uh it's, you know it's not that good i tried it on the window so here's the problem with the window it looks good right the window looks great but now here's the problem if you take a rag and do this look at see how the water spots are like etched into the glass you can't see it but if you do it here oh this is not as bad i think up here was the worst Look at, look at right. Ah, well, all right. You guys probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it's when you wipe it, you can see the water spots still. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get uh, Genesis over here, and we'll probably, I think, just clay it and buff it, and it'll get all those water spots off and make this window. Uh, I'm gonna put like some of the protectant on the window to make the window nice, smooth, and keep them protected also. Also guys, why this stuff is incredible, well let me show you. I just, so, look at these windows over here. And this is how it came. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but this is, I mean look. There's water spots here. Uh, you know, I don't know what the heck this is. Look at this. 
You just know you hear how it's sticky? There's no, you know, smoothness to it. The frames look dirty. They don't look shiny. See this? See all these water spots, guys? Look at that. Okay, I just did this one window. Right here. Look at this thing. No water spots at all. Look at the window. Clear like a glass. Look at Look at Look how smooth compared to same pressure. Look at Like bar barely like I'll, I'll barely touch it. Look at Not putting any pressure on it. You hear it? Compared to this, I mean, come on, look at that, guys. Look at this, same thing. And I'm gonna put more pressure. Look at it. nothing, nothing. So, this stuff, guys, works incredible. You can get, I'll put the link down in the description, but you can get it, uh, you can probably find it anywhere. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to use it like that. I use this thing, I put it literally on this rag, I use this like a buffer, put it all over here. Wipe the whole window, wipe all this. Look at that, I mean, man, nothing on there. It's incredible. And I even use it for the black graphics. Now I'm gonna test it for this, because I noticed, eh, it's not bad. Could be perfected, but we're gonna figure something out for, uh, for this for you guys too. But for trimming glass, guys, you can't go wrong. Go get this finishing polish. Now, I know they got a finishing polish, they got a correcting polish, they got all that. I don't, you know, I haven't used correcting. I always use the finishing. Correcting would be like if you're going to uh, put the paint uh, or put it on like a car. You want to correct the um, correct the paint first on the car. But we're not really dealing with paint here. Nor, I don't even think this is paint. This is probably painted. But, I mean, there's no clear coat, you know, no pores. I mean, you can see the fiberglass, you know, in this. So, I just use the finishing polish and it looks incredible, guys. And if you're wondering what this is, yes, this is a little like uh, thing I cut out uh, just so in the bedroom when I'm sleeping, the light doesn't come in, it's dark. Because, well, these things, I mean, the drapes, they don't have like the dual, the blackout look. You can see the drape right there. See, so in the bedroom, a lot of light came in. So I stuck that there. So now in the bedroom, it's just black. All right, guys, it's story time now. Got your cigars, got your beers, whiskey whatever you, you uh, do to enjoy yourself sometimes. But this story is going to be about, you guys wanna know the one time I got suspended. Actually, I lied. I got suspended, I think, three times. But I'm gonna tell you the first time I got suspended. Um, so the teacher in the classroom, I went to Steel Canyon High School. And it was a new school, two-story, nice, you know? So the, uh, I think, I don't know what period, or I don't even remember what class, but anyways, I had a classroom that was on the second floor. And this teacher would always come out with snacks. And I'm not talking snacks like yogurt, granola bar. I'm talking like Reese's Pieces, Skittles, uh, you know, Mike and Ike's, Now and Laters. I mean, just like bunch of snacks. And I'm like, yo, man, after like, you know, months and months of watching his ass eating in front of us, I'm like, what's up, you know? Um, I'm like, hey, can I, can I get a Reese's or something? He goes, you're asking me for my snack? I go, yeah. You, you've been eating it, you know, eating your damn snacks all freaking year in front of us. You don't ever offer. And he looked at me and he's, he's like, what? they're my snacks. I go, well, haven't you heard? If you can't bring something or don't, don't bring enough for the class, don't bring it, eat it, something, whatever that saying is, you know, uh, if you can't eat it, I don't know what the hell to say. You guys know the saying, I forgot the saying, but pretty much he didn't bring enough for the whole class, you know? So I'm like, all right, man, this guy, you know, he's like, mother, you know, I want, I want that Reese's Pieces. He had the, the, the uh, not the little one, the four, you know, the, the big one, the king size or family size or whatever they, they were called. And then, so he left the classroom for something. I don't know what, what he had to do. He's like, all right, class, blah, blah, yada, yada. You know, uh, I'll be back. So what, I, what does my dad do? I go over there and to make things even worse, I sit in his desk, in his chair, right? I open his, in his bottom drawer, that's where all the snacks are because I've always seen him lean down in the bottom drawer and pull out, you know, goodies. And I peeked in there. So I'm like, all right, so what do I do? He goes, uh, I don't know where the hell he went. He goes, I open the drawer, I grab his Reese's, I put my feet, excuse me, oh, I put my feet on his uh, desk and I'm sitting in his chair. I'm eating his Reese's. Now, mind yourself, I just got a pair 
of these brand new Jordans. Fresh, the white with the red with the 23 with J on like you know like like this here I'll show you bam just like that that same thing just like that you know I'm talking fresh they probably had maybe a mile on if that I mean went from the house to the car to the car one class another class less than a mile on these fresh kicks right so what does he do he gets back I can see it in his eyes he's furious so my feet are up on his desk he goes to, and I knew he was gonna kick my, my legs down, so I like tighten my legs, stiffen up, pushed hard on the desk, and didn't go down. So what does he do? He grabs my leg to try to throw it down, ends up pulling my shoe off. I'm like, oh, I'm like, yo, 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 watch out, this is the Fresh Jays. What does the teacher do? He takes my shoe, walks out the class, and throws it down the first story. Mind yourself, remember, I'm on the second story. Throws it down the first story. I'm like, what? So he had a little like computer desk next to him. It wasn't big, it was you know like paper thin. Probably, I don't know, four feet, three feet long maybe. By three feet, just a little desk, right, where his computer. So what do I do? I knock his laptop off the desk. I grab the desk and I throw it off the second story balcony. I just lost it after he threw my shoe. I mean the Fresh Jays. They were destroyed. I couldn't wear them. I, I was, they had, it, it looked like it was in a bad car accident or shoe accident, I should say. Uh, scuff marks, not where like, you could just like wipe it off. Scuff mark where the J was like, it was, it was rough, man. You know, the leather it ripped. I mean, it was bad. So, uh, end up throwing his whole desk down there through his computer, you know, uh, ended up calling the narc. We had a bunch of narcs over there that threw me on the ground. And well, pretty much a uh, long story short, kids. After that, I got suspended. And I got, uh, I think, I don't know if it was my first time or second time. I don't remember I went to Chaparral. But I, I know when I got suspended, when I got suspended once, I stayed home for three days. Then I think it was the second time when I got suspended for five days. It was uh, five days and then sent to Chaparral. Uh, that school, that school sucked. And uh, I don't remember when, but Pretty much that's, you know, that's the, the, the story, that's what happened was that's the first time I got suspended from school was, you know, for, it's sort of my fault. I shouldn't have uh, sat on the teacher's desk, put my feet up and ate his snacks. But if you eat your damn snacks and offer it to me, I probably would never take it. Or don't eat your damn snacks in front of us. You know, so I, I don't know, what do you guys think? Whose fault is it? I think you should have shared the damn snacks. I mean, you know, I would share my snacks. If I had snacks, you ask me for a snack, no problem. You want a skill? Here you go. You want some Starburst? No, no problem. This teacher was just a shyster, man. Didn't want to share nothing. So long story short, kids, don't jack the teacher's snacks. Don't sit on his desk and uh, watch his shoes. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.